Hello, I'm Fast Lawyer. I'm a Oculus Rift Reviews, Wisp and Dose Mixed Reality. Today we're going to do a Let's Play and Review for VR Jogger, a free-to-play game on the Steam Store for every headset. And I had already reviewed this game. I had given it a positive recommendation. That's before I was doing video reviews. So I wanted to revisit my review. This is actually a game that I put on my top 100 list of free Steam VR games. And I've played it around a bit with it, and I still believe it does belong on the top 100 list, although it's like number 100 or number 99, somewhere along there, along those lines. Uh, and this game has received mixed reviews, uh, a lot of negative reviews. It's, I think it's a mixed review status right now. And I, I just think people are wanting too much from a free-to-play game in this case. This is a good game for what it is. So basically, it's an arm swinger, and you move. Now the trick is to move your legs too, even though you don't have to, I would strongly advise anyone playing this game to move your legs, jog in place. And that's where the benefit of this game comes in. Like, I know you don't have to move your legs for this to work, but if you're not moving your legs, there's like no purpose to this game. So go ahead, move, their, move those legs, jog in place, and you will find the benefit of this game, and then you'll agree with me that it's definitely a good free-to-play game. So there's short, medium, and long. As you can see, the long should take 13 minutes, but I actually finished it in less than 8 minutes. So it's not really that long. Uh, the medium, I finished just about the time it says I should. And then the short trail. I'm going to take the short trail just because I'm doing a video uh, review. And so I didn't don't want to make the video too long. So let's go ahead and swing my arms. Now because I'm doing a shorter jog, I'm going to jog at a higher intensity than I would for the long one. But just be careful, I actually knocked down my computer on my last playthrough that I was trying to record. So be careful. It's very easy to move forward, move back, side to side. You might bump into things. Just be careful when you're jogging in place, make sure you have at least a nice little area for you to jog in place because you are going to move around just nat from your natural movement. Now, the one thing to be aware of is that each of the three courses are different. So if you choose short, you're going to have a different pass than if you chose medium and if you chose long. That should be obvious. But So you're going to see different things. I prefer the long for that reason because you get to see all the sights and the only reason I'm doing this short again is because I'm doing the video uh, but I am jogging a lot faster uh, I'm not doing high knees because I'm not sure I could even do high knees for three minutes <laughs> but I am jogging with a higher intensity than I normally would with the long one, I just usually jog at a brisk pace, brisk pace, but not really high intensity. With the long course, I do get a sweat at the end. But again, that's because I'm moving my feet. And just do a natural jogging motion, jog in place motion. And you'll get a good workout. And I think this is actually more fun than just jogging in place in your room. It's probably not as good as jogging outside, obviously, but definitely better than jogging in place inside your room. So I do recommend this game. I'll put a link to this game on my video. I'll put a link to my Steam Curated group and also the top 100 list of free Steam VR games. I'm Fast Lawyer. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.